So I've been playing WoW again, as always. Um, tomorrow I might actually play some other games besides WoW, like some Steam games and everything. Uh, I haven't actually posted much, and I haven't actually given any tags or anything, so no one can find my videos besides my, my subscribers at the moment. So I'm actually still contemplating whether I should all upload the whole videos since I don't remember the date they were on or anything, and I actually want to do you know, proper date, number and everything, so I might just start it here after the introduction. <coughs> Sorry, I'm actually pretty sick at the moment. Um, so I don't know what, 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 what to say, really. Um, you know, I haven't done too much today, I was really unproductive. <laughs> you know, I got some movies out the other night, I got Runaway, Runaway Vacation, uh, Lesbian Vampire Killers, um, hang on, we'll go have a look now. So we got Runaway Vacation, You, Me and Dupree, Easy A, Batman Year One. That was actually really good. It took me a while to like catch on what was going on. That it was actually a prequel to the whole series. And Blood Rain was over there as well as so Lesbian Vampire Kills. So lesbian, va lesbian va vampire killers is because I've heard a lot of people saying really bad stuff about it. Like, apparently it's a terrible film. So I'm like, terrible film. God, I've got to watch this. <laughs> um, you know, I have a pretty high tolerance to terrible films. The only thing I can't stand in films is cliches. Cliches annoy the heck out of me. Like, I, you know, I was watching uh, Bloody Vampire. My Bloody Valentine, 3D the other day, and there was so many cliches, I was like, oh, did, oh. you know, I guess you could call this a spoiler alert, but it's not much of a, it's it's not really that canon or anything, I think I use that in proper context then, I'm still learning how to use canon, you know, the term canon, meaning like relevant to the storyline, so, I, I think it's basically, anyway, so, um, it, it's this girl, you know, she's just had a rage and everything, uh, this guy that she's sleeping with, you know, he gets hit in the head with a pickaxe from the killer, like the murderer, um, and, you know, she's running away screaming, you know, looking back, as they do in every film, catches, she's naked, <laughs> so anyway, she runs into a room, hides under a bed, and covers her mouth and everything. I think she makes a little bit of a noise after the innkeeper gets murdered right in front of her. And the... I don't know what to call the guy. Um, I don't want to give away who it is or anything. So I'm not going to call him by his real name. Um, yeah, so... The the murderer... Um, hears her. Looks under the bed, like, just call her as that or anything. Like... That's a really freaky moment, and you know, it made me cack my dax a bit. So it's like, oh shit! Uh. So he goes to take a swing at her, blah, blah, she, he misses, etc., etc. You know, blah, 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 goes on for a bit. She kicks him in the face. Instead of crawling out and running away, because, my I had, there's a pig, pickaxe is now in the roof, you know, it's stuck in there, he has to yank it out. By then, she could have bolted past him. And run away, unless if he would hit her or something, but he's in the middle of getting his pickaxe out, you know. So, instead of, you know, waiting for the guy to, um, wait, trying to run past the guy and get away. No, she, she hides on, she crawls back under the bed and hides there. It's like, the guy knows where you are right now. You know, he's seeing you. He's trying to kill you already. And you just crawl back into that spot. And this is a mesh frame bed. Like, you know, it's got square spaces for the guts. That big, you know, the, pi the, the tip of the pickaxe. The whole pickaxe, to be honest, up to the wood bit, could actually probably go through that. So, you know, she gets a swung out or anything. She can't, you know, she can't do much. So she lifts the bed up and I think she hits him with it or something. And pins herself against the wall with the bed in front of her. It's like... That frame isn't that thick. Your face is against that frame already. All he has to do is go the slightest bit in and that's hit your head. You know, he, he's he's going to hit your head with that very easily through that frame. 
But no, of course, she dodges it all. And not only does the pickaxe not go very far through the frame. It's like, oh, logic. I can't deal with movie logic. It, it pisses me right off. And um, another thing that annoyed me was, I, I think I counted all up. There was three falls whilst running away from the killer. Three falls. I'm like, oh, I can't even send the cliche to start with, let alone one, like once off. But three? Oh, seriously. And it was a really good movie. You know what it actually felt like? It was a really gruesome, realistic version of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> because this whole entire movie, you're trying to figure out who this killer is. And, you know, they're giving you hints and everything just like they're doing Scooby-Doo. And then I was waiting, I was thinking, hmm, what happens when they knock him out or something? Are they going to take his mask off and be like, it's Old Man Jenkins? Or what? <laughs> I can't remember the name of the main Scooby-Doo villain that I think that you reused like 10, 15 times or something ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, just... It was a good movie, though. I enjoyed it. You know, uh, it gave me the spooks. I had to take the video back that same night, and I was just looking over my shoulder constantly in the mirror in case someone jumped up with a pickaxe, you know? <laughs> I'm really superstitious like that. Actually, the funny thing is I don't believe in superstition. You know, the whole black cat thing, breaking the mirror. You know what? In, in high school, I was the only person... Um, sorry, this is year seven, so... Um, that's primary school for us. I think in America, year nine is high school, or whatever they're equivalent of high school, and then year eight is still primary school, or whatever the equivalent of that is. Anyway, um, so where was I? Um, I can't remember anymore. Oh, that's right, so, yeah, in year seven, um, you know, we had to make mosaics, I think that's what it's called. It's where you put, like, glass together to make an image, you know, like, just, you know. I, I don't know. If you don't know what it is, Google. Um, I think that's the right term anyway, mosaic. It should be M-O-S-I-A-C. I don't think anyone wants to care if they don't know what it is anyway, but... Anywho, um, so yeah, the teacher was the one that had to break the glass for everyone. And... I found out that it wasn't because we weren't, like, mature enough or something. Like, she asked us if we wanted to do it. I was like, hell yeah, I'll do it. I get to break out some... Uh, I get to break some glass? <laughs> Jeez. Anger... Anger... I can't remember the word. Where you get to relieve something, basically. Anger relievement, I guess. So I'm like, hell yeah. And everybody was petrified of the whole seven years of bad luck. It was like... Uh, here I am now, my luck hasn't changed, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't believe in superstition that much, but I have a very bad case of paranoia, so, <laughs> like, I mean, really, really bad, yeah, um, so, uh, I'm gonna go to bed and watch Lesbian Vampire Killers, um, just a quick note, guys, if there's anything I can do to improve this, like if I'm muttering a little bit, muttering, I think, mumbling, mumbling, sorry, muttering is another term I think. If I'm mumbling a little bit, because um, in real life it kind of sounds like I am, but I'm not sure how I go in the video. Uh, so, you know, if I'm mumbling or if the quality isn't good enough, give us a yell, you know, I'm in the process of maybe looking at getting a new microphone for the computer so I can make some in-game videos and everything. I don't know what to make, like, I had this idea of maybe making a hardcore run-through of Diablo 2 before Diablo 3 comes out, in anticipation. You're going to have uh, an unboxing of Diablo 3 coming, uh, an unboxing of Guild Wars 2 coming, they're both collector's edition, that is. And if I get enough money and I feel like it, I'll be buying a collector's edition of Vanilla WoW in the box sealed, so I'll make an unboxing of that. If I, if I do feel like buying it. It's $2,000, so... I don't know. If I get this job in the mines, I'll most likely do it, but... If I don't, then... You know, it's really iffy. Um, I also may get a keyboard tomorrow. I don't know if I'm actually going to go through with it. But, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.